today I'm here with Derek. He's a history teacher, so he knows a lot about, well, history. But he's here today to tell me all about Cinderclaus. Did I say that right? Uh, Cinderclaus, yeah. Cinderclaus. Mm -hmm. So we have St. Nick in English, Black Pete in English, but in Dutch it's... Cinderclaus and Zwarte Piet. Yeah. Uh, from the original title of uh, the book, um, uh, Sinterklaas and, the, uh, and Zijn Knecht, so uh, Saint Nick and his uh, helper. And um, uh, that tradition evolved into the yeah, tradition we have now. And, and what is that? I don't know. So, so in um, early November, usually the first weekend, uh, he arrives in the Netherlands uh, with a, a steamship with... Um, oh, he comes the... on the ship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, he doesn't on come steamship. with reindeers on a sled or anything. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> he comes on a ship, which yeah. seems more realistic than flying reindeer. So at least that's one up he got on the American one. Yeah, it's it, that that mode of transportation is real. Okay, so um, Sidney arrives uh, with uh, a steamship, um, uh, helped by his um, uh, Black Pete, Zwarte Pete uh, companions, and uh, oh, more than one. Oh, um, perhaps hundreds. So Wait. The, so the tradition of the elves... Uh, oh my god, are you saying that all... Sorry, this is really intense to me. Because right. in America, the slaves came on ships. And so now you have this guy named <laughs> Saint Nick. Yeah. With a bunch of people called Black, Black Beads Beat. yeah. on a ship. Yeah. And they're not uh, brought in chains, but um, 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 waving and having a good time arriving here and um, in the, the notion of distribu uh, distributing all the presents uh, to all the good children. I mean, I'm glad that they're happy, but I mean, the controversy I've heard of with Zwart Peaks mm -hmm. is obviously big. So the fact that they come sure. off of a ship, even, mm -hmm. and... The whole oh, they didn't like, brought they didn't brought slaves on steamships. <laughs> not on steamships, but on ships, you know, on yeah, ships. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just saying, like, there's so many like little parts of that story that's <laughs> like, like I didn't know that part. I had no idea. I just knew of Zwart Pete mm -hmm. and the controversy there because everybody kind of knows about that, but I didn't know so, so that part of the story, of so course. But like I said, to me, one of the biggest issues is that Zwart Pete is the helper of Saint Nick and he does all the work and then right because I know that part he goes down the chimney right Zwart Pete has to go down the chimney and yeah. all of that for the present stuff and now he comes on a boat if it was just soot then then the skin color would still shine through whatever skin color mm -hmm. Zwart Pete actually is if the Zwart comes from soot why isn't he called and you have to remember, and that is the, the cornerstone of this tradition, it's for children. And children don't differentiate uh, between, um, is it um, almost uh, black or little black or very black. That is true, but so they then, do learn a lot from that. From that. Let's get back on to track. Sure. So they come on a ship. Yeah. They, they, and uh, there could Sydney... be hundreds of black feet, yeah, yeah. but there's only one Santa Claus. Yeah, Santa Claus. He's a he's an uh, he's an old uh, bishop, and so um, he's Catholic. Yeah, he is. Okay. And uh, because Saint Nick is a old man, he needs to have helpers. So this um, helper or knecht uh, in Dutch. Um, um, turned out to be Black Pete, and Pete is a uh, term um, uh, like uh, average day Joe, let's say. Okay, so on the first weekend of November, you come on a ship, mm -hmm. and then what happens? Okay, uh, at that point, then uh, children um, uh, sing songs and um, uh, put uh, one of their shoes uh, next to the fireplace. And um, uh, they leave um, uh, some water and a carrot for the uh, Cinderclass's horse, Amerigo. Where do they put the carrot? Uh, into the shoe. 
So they do have to clean their shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Does everyone clean their shoes? No, but that doesn't matter for the tradition because um, they put uh, um, uh, their shoe, as they but, say. But what do you do with the carrot later? Because it's right; it's not real. Mm -hmm. So there's not really anything to give the carrot to other than a person. So what do you do with that carrot? So um, Black Pete uh, exchanges uh, the gifts to the children for putting some uh, sweets or candy in the, the um, uh, in or next to the shoe, and the the water will be gone because he gives that to the horse and the carrot goes to the horse as well. But in real life, what happens? And in real life, uh, parents okay, throw the water away uh, or uh, lessen the the amount uh, in um, um, the, the cup. The cup. And uh, the carrot they put back in the fridge or collect it or throw it away. I was in a shoe, put it back in the fridge. It, it, it's more like a tradition that uh, around that time um, people eat a little more stompot or a little more uh, of uh, dishes uh, with um, uh, carrots in it. Here, for getting a present, you put mm -hmm. a carrot in your shoe and that shoe is by the fireplace and you mm -hmm. leave water also for the horse. Yeah, but and, you don't and, leave and sing songs. That's, that's uh, very To bring important. cheer and happiness and... Yeah, and to, to make sure that um, um, Black Peter hears it uh, uh, on, on top of the roof when uh, he's um, uh, going to climb down uh, in the evening. Ah, so do night. you sing songs in the evening or all day long or um it's not like a prayer doing it all day long but like uh, having a moment together with the family just before bedtime because uh, parents um give their own children those gifts instead of uh, the a real guys climbing down yeah. uh, the chimney if uh, they even have one um that it's the parents they are giving their children something for um, being on their best behavior and um, giving s something for someone else in exchange for those gifts. And um, uh, Sinterklaas is actually coming to several events. Um, um, not, not just the, the arrival uh, on the steamship, but also on several shows and um, um, so town halls um, and other activities and for instance also to schools ah. because not every parent has enough money to give their children several times between uh, November and December a gift so for also, the they're mainly, supposed to get them several times um, as many as the parents will allow them usually oh. Okay, so it's not just one day you get a present. You no. can, it can happen. Sinterklaas will come to school or at least the several black beats and in that case, again, sitting in a group, um, being on your best behavior, uh, singing songs and receiving um, yeah, um, paper note and other sweets and to um, yeah, enjoy the festival and um, keeping that tradition alive. Oh, that's that's nice that they'll do it at school just so that yeah. everybody has a chance to celebrate. So in that case, um, you do exchange gifts, but do it in a uh, in a different fashion with uh, doing a um, in a Dutch uh, surprise, where the, from the uh, English word for surprise. So um, you build something with a uh, with a poem attached uh, to it. And um, um, describing the, the year you went through, but then in a bit more uh, poetic way. And then um, you have to unwrap the, 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 the building or the thing you made for the, the other person. Usually it's something from a hobby or life, work, etc. And then there's a gift uh, inside. Oh, someone. that's so that's a really beautiful thing that so that's a that, great that, that, of the the the, the center class tradition for children yeah so you graduate to that mm. and that one's to me very beautiful and at the end of the uh, whole center class happening and when does the, that end that's the 5th of december okay uh, that's usually the the date that a uh, center class died or the the actual saint nick but wait, we, wait, wait, you celebrate the day this guy died. 
His name day, yeah. Wait, it's called a name day? You don't have name days? Yeah, I just, like I said, I'm surprised mm. that uh, St. Nick here is, mm -hmm. is known to be religious. No, um... Because the it's, children learn like that, the, right? Um, he is a bishop, but then again, a child of five doesn't know what a bishop is. Oh, I wasn't sure if that was something that you actually so, taught them, like, oh, he's a bishop, he comes uh, from the Catholic Church or something. I, I no, have that, 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 That's not uh, Something the that's point. explained to them. In America, children are told that you mm -hmm. get checked for all year. But if you're not good, you're supposed to get cold. How about here? How long do you have to be good for, and what do you get if you're not good? The children have to pay attention uh, on their behavior from um, the arrival of uh, St. Nick at the beginning of, uh, uh, of November. Okay, until and, he yeah. leaves on the 5th. And at, the, at that day, the evening of the 5th, that will be a great celebration. So uh, then they will get um, a stack of gifts or a, a, a nice big gift like on um, uh, Christmas Eve uh, in, uh, in the American tradition. And what happens if you aren't good? Nothing or...? Um, originally, um, uh, Black Pete would um, have that very list. So if uh, the children were naughty, um, they would uh, be... Uh, thrashed um, with a, um, I don't know what the English word for roux is, but um, like a whip? It, like, a, like a bundle of sticks. And oh! They would get a, a, a slight uh, thrashing. And then they would go in the, um, uh, the back. It's a switch. Switch? Yeah, a switch. Okay. Yeah. And then we'd go in a bag and would be taken to Spain uh, to. Um, yeah, help Black Pete in his labors and the Cinder class until next year. We have um, pr uh, people that say, okay, we do have to change with the times. And people that say, okay, why was my tradition so bad that, the, uh, that they have to change it? That in certain parts of the Netherlands, that uh, Black Pete is still um, being... Um, um, a, a Dutch guy being painted black and uh, perhaps uh, the earrings are gone and the, 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 the clothing are, is a bit updated and the, 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 the curly hair is, uh, is just my normal um, hair. wig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, um, and in the, the, the larger cities where um, more um, uh, black people live, where the, um, the, the controversy is most apparent that there, uh, people are actually changed the tradition um, uh, completely, where it's not Santa Claus and Swarte Pete, but um, yeah, uh, Winter Claus or minions uh, uh, joining uh, Santa Claus instead of Black Pete, or um, being painted blue instead of uh, uh, instead of black. So and, rainbow but, but Pete. The, but this is and that this is the beginning. And, it, and the fact, again, that people are open to it is beautiful because mm -hmm. that doesn't happen in every country. No, where, not where, even here. <laughs> well, but, it, but it does because it is happening where, yes, yeah, some people are stuck in their ways, but mm -hmm. more, I, I, again, I feel a majority of society is open to the discussion. Mm -hmm. Maybe they haven't changed anything yet. But people are paying attention. People yeah. are taking notes. People are doing that. And I, I think that's a great thing about the Netherlands. No, change doesn't happen overnight. No, mm -hmm. change isn't easy. But again, I, I personally feel, having mm -hmm. lived here as short amount of time as I have, <laughs> I can feel the difference, though, that people yeah. are more open to discussion, yeah. even if they don't like it. Yeah. So I like that this tradition, and I won't call it Dutch per se, because um, they celebrate a variation of it in Russia, in uh, Germany, in Belgium, the Netherlands, that everyone has its own interpretation of it, and then it got um, yeah, intermingled in the uh, after-war period where yeah, the states uh, did liberate uh, uh, parts of Europe, and um, 
uh, now that uh, even um, St. Patrick and um, the, the black beat into elves or reindeer that the traditions are so intermingled that there are so many ways you want to celebrate this, this tradition. So if an alien would, uh, would land uh, here uh, in early December today, he could have a pick between 12, 13 different uh, traditions and all would be in the same vein of being good to one another and giving gifts uh, to uh, other people. Isn't that the whole point of the holiday season? Yeah. And, and not we, we should necessarily keep, we should, the tradition. And we should stick to that. And if we, it's we with should, Black I, Pete, without Black Pete, with Sinterklaas or uh, Father Christmas, I 100% uh, agree Have a good time you. together uh, I 100%. when it's getting cold uh, <laughs> around the fireplace. Yes, eating lots of food. Food is very important, yeah. Yes, <laughs> eating lots of food and, and taking just moments to really think about others and trying to brighten their day. Yeah. And we should do that all year round, but at the very least, once a year <laughs> is yeah. important. And you're right, the tradition is not the important part. But I do really appreciate you explaining the tradition and letting me know a little bit more about that. And sorry about the whole debate thing coming up, but I'm always curious to, to, to have other people's ideas because I only know a little bit about the debate and now yeah. that I know more about the history of, of Santa Claus, then now I have a better idea of, of, of how the whole tradition goes. Well, again, Derek, a wonderful history teacher <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> who knows a lot has explained this to me and I'm sure I will have him on to explain a lot of other Dutch things that I don't understand. So. Hello, thank you. Bye. <laughs>